Hello everybody, and welcome to Delft Junction. Um, hope you're all safe and well, enjoying the cold weather. Um, all I'm going to do today, I'm going to build a little wall. It's uh, at the end of the station. I'm going to build a little utility area. But before we go, um, before we get started, I don't know if you remember, I bought a 08 Gronk from uh, Getz. Um, paid 70 quid for it. Um, I'm not going to accuse anybody or because a lot of the traders, they're, they're good people, you know, they're, they're, they look after you. But this particular trader was very, very busy. Um, I'm not accusing anybody, um, but all I'm saying is if I paid 70 quid for this gronk, um, it should have been sold as a non-runner and it, 70 quid, that's not a non-runner. Um, I had a look at it and uh, if they knew it wasn't working then they were being deceptive. Um, for people that are selling um, things like that, you know, sort of money, they should check it before they sell it. Because um, I took it to my go-to man and that's Dan, of Dan Model Railways. And um, anything to do with... Um, my locals re re be repaired or anything like that's the man to go to because he does know his stuff. Um, he is putting this repair uh, on a vlog. I, th I think he said he's going to put it out on Friday so you can see what he done to it. But I've got it here. It's a lovely looking thing. Beautiful outside. You've got a little man in it. don't know if you can see it. See it properly. Lovely looking thing. But it didn't work. And Dan said to me, um, there's no way that that worked when I bought it because the, the card inside was all burnt out, the drive card where you put your DCC and everything in. Um, it was literally burnt out. You can see it on Dan's vlog on Friday. I think he said he's putting it out. And he said there's no way it was working. But uh, Dan's worked his magic on it. And it's uh, working lovely now. But what he's done is he's taken those electrics out and dry, uh, wired it direct to the, the, the motor. So um, it can't be DCC, which doesn't bother me because I'm DC anyway. And uh, thank you, Dan. You made a lovely job. It's a lovely little thing now. Paul's lovely. I'll show you what it's like anyway. Yeah, oh, goes a treat now. Um, all right, I had to show you my sea cows as well. Hoppers. I've got five of them now. Um, right now that's over with. Uh, as I said, cost me money. Um, shouldn't have done. 70 quid, that should have been a, a go in loco. But what I'm going to do now is uh, show you what I'm going to do today. I'm going to build a little wall and... A uh, little utility area at the end of the station. I'm not going to do the retaining wall yet because I've still got to get a few more bits. But I uh, hope you enjoy it anyway. It's uh, made a, a wall before. I'll show you one of the walls I made before. And, uh, like that. And it's made with offcuts. Didn't cost me a penny, just a little bit for the glue and a bit of the uh, paper that I use for the brickwork. A bit of off cut, so I used to, I've got from like fitting people's kitchens and that. Little bits of off cuts and bits of Metcalf card. Never throw anything away with Metcalf, always use it. That's going to be the, the cappings on top of the wall. And uh, other little bits. Like bits from the windows, it's going to be the cabins as well. So, use of things, it's not going to cost anything. Um, better than keep going out buying these expensive stuff from uh, shops and things. Although, I do like to support my local model shops. Um, I bought a fair bit from them now, 
But as I say, with these locos, I've bought, now been to two exhibitions, bought two locos and both non-runners. Uh, the third one I, I swapped because that wouldn't run on my layout, got too many curves on it. So I, I swapped it, that went down to my local model shop and swapped it for a Silver Fox A4. Um, so we get on the work, I'll show you what, what I'm going to do, where we're going to go and uh, see you later. Right, this is the uh, little area I'm going to do, it's at the end of the station. Um, probably, I want to get some skip, I'll probably put a skip in there, cut the bins, going to put a toilet there and put the retaining wall along here. Um, just a waste bit of ground at the end of the station. So uh, use every bit of space and uh, see how it looks. Hope it goes all right. Hope you enjoy it anyway. Um, but it's only a little little bit. Uh, eventually I'm going to do all this retaining wall. But uh, as I said, still got to get a few bits and pieces. But uh, going to build a wall here, a little bit of gap from people to walk in, toilet, a few bins. Eventually I'll get a skip. I haven't got a skip at the moment. Get a skip. And uh, see how it goes. Okay. Right, folks. Um, got some of these capping stones down. Need another one. So got a bit of the old uh, off, off cuts out again. That's me. Is that because it's gone on the floor? Just going to cut the bit off. Make one of the edges. Good old junior axles, I love them. And they will be the, the ends of the wall. Put a capping stone on top there. Be a little wall. Got some, uh, I don't know what you call it, it's very big bricks. <laughs> so eventually the wall's going to look like that. Get the Cabin stand along the top there, and what I do is a bit of Metcalf off cuts over the top, just give it a scrape with a knife every now and again, go over it with a very watered down grey paint, and that will be the, the top of it done. So, get the next stage. Hello, everybody. All right, what I've done here. I've uh, done the wall, put the paper around the wall, put the cabinet stones on top. I've scored them uh, so when you do the uh, grey wash it should uh, show up as individual slabs. The ends, I've got two pieces, pieces like that, just joined them together, one on each side and using little bits of Metcalf, stuff you pop the windows out with in Metcalf, use them as tops. doesn't matter if you um, got bits of white showing and that from the paperwork, you just touch it up with a bit of grey paint and uh, just set the glue, just wait for all the glue to dry. I did show you how to do it but the uh, camera didn't click on and uh, this is the end result, but uh, this, as I say all it is is the uh, bit of MDF wrapped around with paper with a bit of sort of Metcalf bits that you get off of Metcalf when you do the buildings. Use that as capping stone. Score it. Then when we come to paint it, they they should show up. It's only going to be a very uh, wet wash with grey paint. But the way it goes is, uh, you know, it'll sort of go like that. And be sort of wall looking. And uh, once you get it painted, get it all set up, all glued and that, it should be okay. Okay, with luck. Next time, the camera will work properly and uh, I'll be able to show you a bit more. <laughs> okay, thank you. But folks, I've um, put the ends on the, on the wall now. 
I've given it a quick dose of uh, grey paint. It's uh, watered down and gone too bad. It's a little bit darker than I wanted. Just do the undersides and little bits of paperwork and that, that little poking out. And then get rid of it, it doesn't show. But uh, now it's drying off a bit, it's not too bad. So just give it a quick going over. To start to take shape, maybe it's, it's going to be down the other end of the uh, layout anyway, or the other end of the station. But it's only a, a barrier wall to sort of hide up the utilities of the station, the toilet block and uh, bins and things like that. But it's starting to lighten up a bit now. If it's too dark, you can like, get a bit of white. I might get a bit of white later on, a bit of watered down white. Just go over it very gently with the white and that will brighten up a bit. If you wanted to, <coughs> you could put uh, little features on top. Sort of uh, give it a little bit of, you know, a bit of different sort of thing. And, uh, that's it. I've done another wall over there I use for my uh, coal yard. Uh, it's bigger than this and what I did with that one I rounded off the edges one over there. I'll show you in a minute. I rounded off the edges. Uh, this one I haven't done because you know, it's, as I said it's down the other end of the station and it still doesn't look too bad. But I'll show you the the one I've done over here and uh, see if you think it's a little bit better. Right. right, this is the coal yard. As I said, done all this wall along here. So you can make the, the way I've done those walls with the old scrap bits of wood and that, you can make them as long as you like. But what I've done here with these, I've um, rounded the ends off. All the ends are rounded off. Make it look a bit better. But I so say you can make it as big or as small as you like and uh, just holds all me coal in. Uh, sort of does a treat really, doesn't look too bad. You know, it's not um, something as nice as you buy out of shops, but it depends if you want to pay that sort of money, innit? Right, back here at the end of the station. Um, that's where I'm going to put my wall. Put the wall in there like that. Not going to glue it down on, I think. Got a little walkway where people can get in there. So, I'm going to put a little toilet in there. Put the toilet in there. Get to it. And I should have some bins. Sort of like a bit of a utility area green bit and another green bit another green bit there oh we'll have a black bin I think do we have a black bin yeah we'll have a black bin yeah have a black bin what well, we might put a skip in there but we'll see what else I can put in there I'm gonna put some walking people in around there when it's done but uh, just as a little bit of a feature to the end of the station. Uh, so I've got a little walkway where people can go in. Um, might add some more bits and pieces in there. And uh, see what it's like later on. Okay. How do you like that? Well, don't look too bad, does it? So I might put some little bit of white on the top just to line it up. I even put something on the top there, sort of give it a little bit of a feature. Okay. And what we'll do, I think rather than get the ballast up again and that, just add a bit of foliage. Look a bit scruffy, isn't it? Add a few bits and pieces down there. Bit of green, 
वो खाला चुना पे खाला PVA them down later on. Make sure they stick. Get in, get in, get in. And up there. Add a bit of colour to it, that's all. Might make that look a bit better later on. Off camera. Okay. Right, everybody, hope you enjoyed that. It's only a tiny little bit of a build, uh, just a little wall. So you can make those walls as long as you as you like, using a little bit of off cuts. You don't have to spend pounds and pounds from shops and that to buy these things. You've got to be a bit careful nowadays with this hobby. It's getting a little bit expensive, isn't it? Anyway, go back to the old eight, old class eight, a Gronk I bought from Gretz. Um, Go to Dan's Model Railways. Uh, Dan's putting a vlog out on Friday, he said, and uh, it will show you exactly what was wrong with it. And uh, there's no way that was that was running when I bought it. So uh, you can see what that's all about. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog now. Going to uh, put a couple of trains on before I go. Um, hope you enjoy them. Even forgot my hat. Look, see me bald head. Uh, getting a bit cold in this cabin now get in front of that fryer I think okay you all stay safe and uh, like share and subscribe if you want to um, much appreciated and I'll catch you again bye for now